Are you feeling tired but wired, having difficulty sleeping, and are very prone to getting infections all of the time? Well, it could be your adrenal glands. Find out in today's video. Hey everyone, this is Stephanie from Fast Track to Health Wellness Center. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so I can keep you up to date on the latest in natural health, wellness, and weight loss. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the adrenal glands. This is gonna be part one of a series of videos on the adrenals. You may have heard of the adrenal glands, but perhaps you're not sure where they are and what exactly they do. Well, even though they're very small, they're only the size of about a walnut, and they're located on top of your kidneys, they have a lot of different functions. So they regulate many different things within your body. They have a lot to do with regulating stress. They produce a variety of different hormones, which we'll get into in a second. They help regulate blood sugar, inflammation, your immune function. And for ladies, for you, once you go into menopause and the ovaries shut down, the adrenals sort of take over. So if your adrenals aren't doing very well, you might have menopausal symptoms because of it. So the main hormones that the adrenals produce are cortisol, which I'm sure you've heard of. This is the one that's associated with belly fat. And then aldosterone associated with blood pressure control and DHEA, which is another hormone that's responsible for making testosterone and estrogen. So the adrenal glands have a lot of different things to do, a lot of different functions, and they require a lot of different nutritional support, vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, and the whole stressed out mode that most of us are living in really wear them out over time. So we're always in this constant fight or flight kind of mode, and this really takes a toll on the adrenal glands. So some of the main symptoms that you might experience if you have adrenal issues are fatigue, and that's probably the number one thing that people feel. They wake up and they're tired. They just slept all night, but they're still tired when they get up in the morning. That's definitely a bad sign. And then sleeping issues, meaning that maybe you're tired all day, but then you get like the surge of energy at nighttime and you can't fall asleep. So that means that your cortisol levels are just not in the right places at the right time. And then stress, handling stress, your ability to handle stress is really not as good as it could be. So you get very overwhelmed, even by small things. Your immune system could suffer. You could find yourself getting sick more often or be very prone to having allergies. That's another sign of adrenal issues. Low thyroid, low thyroid and adrenal issues are very, mixed together because they're both part of the endocrine system. They're, they're both endocrine glands and they all work in harmony together. So one isn't working, then the other one has to work harder. Another big symptom of adrenal issues is anxiety. And this is something I see very frequently in my clinic. A lot of people have anxiety today and usually it has something to do with the adrenals not being balanced. Another big sign, this one might seem not as obvious, is dizziness. If when you're laying down and you get up to a standing position, you feel dizzy, or from sitting to standing, you feel dizzy, that's another indicator that you could have adrenal issues. So dizziness is a big one. Low blood pressure is also another one, but initially you might wind up having high blood pressure when the adrenals first start going south, but then eventually you wind up with lower blood pressure. And last but not least, this is not a conclusive list, but cravings, salt cravings, that's a big one too. Sugar cravings can be part of it as well because it does regulate blood sugar, but cravings of salt or sugar could be another symptom that you have adrenal issues. So. What are some of the ways that you can find out for sure? Well, if you go to your regular doctor and start asking about the adrenals, they're probably just gonna dismiss it because in their world, it's basically you either have Cushing's or Addison's disease and there's sort of no in between. But in the um, holistic realm, we see a wide range of spectrums when it comes to adrenal function being too low or too high. In our world, the adrenals matter an awful lot. So some of the tests that can be done, you can test the cortisol in either the saliva or the urine. These are the best ways to test it. You can get it done in the blood, but it's not the best way to test it. If you are going to do a blood test, the best blood test to do to test the adrenals would be DHEAS. That's um, DHEA sulfate. That's a great indicator of uh, overall adrenal function, and that can be done through blood. And then another one is something you probably never really think of is a hair test. And this is a test that's not commonly run, but the hair tests minerals very well. And in, in the sodium to potassium and the sodium to magnesium ratio, that can give you an excellent indicator of how your adrenals are doing. So if you're working with a holistic practitioner, ask them if they can run a hair test. That will give you another indicator. In our clinic, we do some in-house tests for adrenals as well. 
We do do muscle testing and that will tell us. And then we do a test called Raglan's. It's, it's more the sitting to standing position test, but testing the blood pressure to see what happens when you go from a sitting position to standing. So there's a variety of different things that you can be done. But if you have a lot of the symptoms that I mentioned before, chances are you are having some kind of adrenal issue. Of course, I'm going to get into what you can do about that, but I'm gonna save that for part two and beyond of these videos so you can learn more. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in, in the section below and stay tuned for part two and part three of the adrenal series. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.